Two little, two little babies, and then there's Heidi's feet. Mama, mama feet, <laughs> aka the the bottle carrier feet, <laughs> and that's you know so many people they they envy Heidi for like the cats like looking at her as mom and mom and mama mom love 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 and all that stuff, but for the first. For the first little bit, so much of it is just, she's just a glorified bottle carrier. She is just an accessory. So fun. Oh my gosh, and then there's, and then there's Boo Bellows. There's Boo Bells, who has become quite, quite the, the young mother. Bubbles has become quite the young Mama, <laughs> he's been he's been taking care of the babies. He's been socializing them. He has been stimulating them because that's the big thing. Like at this age, they need to get stimulated in order to be able to go to the bathroom. Yeah, it's six to eight, six. Seven pounds, six ounces. Oh loud, he coming. Okay, seven pounds, six. All right. Right, thanks, because I don't have anybody here. Oh my gosh. But yeah, Bob's has been grooming them and he's been socializing them, which is like actually super, super important. Uh, teaching them, he's been teaching them good things like right from wrong. That's right. How to properly behave in a civilized society. Oh, molasses. You got, you got a little milk on your head? What do you do? Here. Or, you did him. Did you do her or him? I did him. She did boy. Hi, baby. I know. I know. I think it was 7 2. Here, I got her. Hold on. It was 7 4. No, 7 0. 7 4. There we go. What was written? Then there's Gibson over here. He was 7'4", wasn't he? 7'6". 7'6". And then the, the little boy is becoming so much more mobile. He's becoming so much more mobile. He was able to get up on the couch all by himself today, which was a first. Oh, hi little one. Ah! Bubbles. Oh, did Bubbles gain gain baby weight? <laughs> has he has he gained any 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 mother weight? Let me stay. Eighty-ish. Ooh. So Ooh. no, he's lost weight. Oh, he's lost. Oh my goodness, it's this. It's the stress of newfound motherhood. Oh my gosh, what a one. Come on, let's go. Let's this way. Come on. I know you see them. They're empty. That's a one. Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? Oh my goodness. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This way. Shut that door. There we go. Okay. We're gonna go this way. Come here. Come here. Come here. What? Are you lost? Really interesting thing uh, that Heidi was doing earlier was that she was putting together uh, an order for the component parts for all of the 
uh, like the milk and the bottles and stuff like that. And for one week supply, hun, how much was that? Three hundred and sixty-six dollars. Two weeks. Formula for two weeks. For these two little ones. For these two teeny, teeny, tiny little ones. These seven-pound babies. So. They're worth their weight in value. Oh my gosh, and then some. But that's one of those kind of things when we talk about, you know, the need for fundraising, and then if you're trying to talk to people about the actual sheer costs of what it takes to properly care for little ones like this, it becomes, uh, hopefully becomes more of like a, a de-incentivizer for people trying to seek these little ones out. Oh, and Heidi's got to check teeth. Maybe bottom teeth. He's just real fussy. Well, they're both both in the in the midst in the midst of te of teething. Nope, she's good. She's in the middle. Wait, which one's which? I can't remember. This is a boy. That's, that's a boy, girl. girl. Hi, little girl. Hello. Look at, look at you. You're so teeny. We have the uh, the naming auction that's happening right now, or the naming raffle. It's not an auction. So if you're interested in that, you can always go to uh, you know carerescuetexas.com for more information about those things. Oh, by the way, hello all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Jack, again. Welcome to another super duper exciting episode of the Park on the Compound webcast. We're not technically in the compound. Ooh, sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. So we got the naming raffle that's going on right now. And uh, when we first got the little ones, I had texted Heidi that I like the name Cinder for girl. And then she texted back that her and Destiny had been talking and that they liked the names Bandit and Tequila. And then I thought, well, wouldn't that be great? So I think they're unofficial names. Be Toby Bandit and Cinder Tequila. That's just me, though. I'm sure that we'll have official names, but that's just my idea. <laughs> and he's like, "Why are you talking about this right now?" Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Bubbles, where's your baby? He said she's. This is his baby. He doesn't like boys as much as a girl. Bubs is more of a... Uh, Ladies man? Yeah. Hasn't been the biggest fan of the of little little boy tiger. Yeah, he plays with them. Oh my gosh. But feeding them, and then weighing them, and then having them with animals, and then having them around people, and socializing them, that's a really important element to just their psychological development and stuff like that. So this is an important component to their ability to just kind of exist long-term in this facility, around people, around animals. And Bubbles still can't get over his, oh, look at that his snuffle finger. reaction. He says, I, I almost made it. He almost made it to the bottles? He says, safe, safe, safe. Safe, safe, safe. Hi. But Heidi and Destiny. Yeah. Heidi and Destiny have been working, working continuous shifts. Hi, baby. Continuous shifts to take care of these little ones and feed them and stuff like that. Which. What are the feeding times, son? Eight noon and eight noon five ten. Eight noon five ten. Eight. Two a.m. Yeah, eight noon five ten, and then asterisk possibly two. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Paul Gibson. Found today. Yeah. You found you found a third dimension. 
you found you discovered you discovered the direction of up. Bobby, come here. Uh, it's, he, like yeah, Bob's like has this weird thing about snuffling. Like when people snuffle, he kind of has a little freak out. He's a little miniature meltdown. Oh, she hasn't figured it out. Oh, oh my gosh. He's cranky and yeah. hungry. We're is getting he... extra this morning. Yeah, you got extra food. No, he's getting extra. Oh, he's getting. Ah, uh, what about second breakfast? Second breakfast. Well, well, but what? We had one breakfast, yes, but what about second breakfast? Maybe we should call him Shrek. Shrek? That's Pippin. Oh, that is Pippin. I was thinking yeah. of Shrek. I was thinking <laughs> That's a, it's kind of a well, cause, have yeah. About food? Well, there's that, but no, it's he didn't have like a second breakfast or something. Yeah, something. They they also I think Shrek was uh, they had a Scottish accent as well as uh, as well as Billy yeah, as well as Billy exactly. Boyd. So, so yeah, you you are correct. You are but correct. No, but he was talking. Didn't Shrek have a second breakfast? I don't know if he did. <laughs> well, all in all, you sounded more like Shrek than Hobbit. I think that I did a pretty good Hobbit impression. Where's she at? He. Oh, he. Sorry, I couldn't see. <laughs> All right. I hope you didn't meet. Oh, perfect. OMG. I'm left handed. I know, it's weird. I'm left handed. Ambidextrous. See what she's doing right there? She's holding the side of the mouths because sometimes what'll happen is if you don't do that, then like little air will get in and then it gets them gassy. So you have to kind of. Is it the suction? It's the suction. Okay, I screwed that up. I thought it was the air. <laughs> I mean, like, I do it. <laughs> it's suction. Yeah. Like Zubin, remember the mouths got too big and you have to hold the side so it makes a suction on the nipple so they can suck. I thought it was an air thing too. I thought it helped with the air and stuff. And that's why we have these bottles that have. Oh, they have like the little things in the thing? Yeah. Okay. No, no air in the bellies. <laughs> no air in the bellies. <sighs> and then. Who is this? Oh, no, you're Poots. This is Poots. Oh, it's uh, Parker. Richard Parker will be anywhere near. Yeah, Richard Parker has boycotted. Richard Parker has boycotted the, the little ones. Hi, Vuvi. Hi, Mr. Sanks. Hi, Mr. Yeah. You're a good boy, too. You're a, you're a good baby. You're a good baby. You're a good baby. Good boy. So I hope that you folks are okay with uh, a webcast happening, you know, just inside the den. In my living room with me in my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We talked about doing a webcast. So, so what? You talk about doing webcasts all the time. You don't say you're going to do it while I'm in my pajamas. I said that we were going to do one when, like, the next time we took the babies out, like at the yeah, noon. Yeah, but I didn't know you were going to be filming me. At the noon time. Well, you're the, you're the, you're the integral part of the, of the little ones' uh, care and their care plan and everything. So. Okay. People want to hear about that, and they want to hear from you. They don't want to hear from me. I don't know what. Is I know what do you mean? Like I don't know what's the matter. And I was worried he was gonna wake you up. See, I didn't even know that. I didn't even no, know I that. Worried. I didn't know. Holding the side of their mouths. Look at her little blab. See the little little blab. <laughs> beep beep beep. Oh, look at her.